Excellent. And now we go on to the best classical record of the year. And the presenter in this category is a gentleman who last week picked up an award for himself at the Variety Club Awards. He is the BBC Radio Personality of the Year, Richard Baker. Was that award you got a surprise? Uh, it was a total surprise to me. Some of it, I must say, was due to uh, gramophone records, Baker's Dozen on Radio 4, Baker's Half Dozen on the World Service, British Forces Broadcasting Service, and a very good airline. All classical programmes. I've got records coming out of my ears. Classical ones, of course. Mm. So it's very nice. Well, I hope you're not going to be too critical about these pronunciations. Let's have a look at the nominations in this category, starting off with... Bach's Fourth Symphony, the Ulster Orchestra, conductor Bryden Thompson. Then there's Britain's The Turn of the Screw, soloists and orchestra of the Royal Opera House Covent Garden, conductor Sir Colin Davis. Mozart's The Magic Flute, soloist the Dresden Choir, Leipzig Radio Chorus, Dresden State Orchestra, conductor once again Sir Colin Davis. Verdi's Il Travatore, the Santa Cecilia Academy of Co Orchestra and Choir, conductor Carlo Maria. Giulini. And finally in this category, Vivaldi's The Four Seasons, the Academy of Ancient Music director, Christopher Hogwood. Richard, could you please tell us? Impeccably pronounced, Noel. No, no mistakes at all. And here's the winner. The winner is Vivaldi Four Seasons, Christopher Hogwood. Christopher Hogwood is perhaps one of our leading advocates of Baroque music. He's done a tremendous amount to advance it with this new recording of Vivaldi's Four Seasons, a very popular piece of classical music. One interesting point about this recording is that it's actually sold more on compact disc than on normal LP and cassette put together. Best classical recording, Christopher Hogwood. Apart from my total surprise, I should also mention Vivaldi's total surprise, I think, at being included in something where he is easily 250 years older than anybody else present. I think one also ought to say, if one's going to mention something slightly serious about BPI, that without the patronage of this industry in this country, there really could hardly have been the revival there has been in the performance of early music authentically. What most people are looking for nowadays, of course, is the sort of patron that existed in the 18th century. To our great surprise, when we first had the idea of putting together an orchestra of what most of my friends call Stone Age instruments, a record company, Decker, was brave enough to say, meet for the first time at one of our recordings. From that, it went on. We're very grateful for that form of patronage. Long may it continue on Vivaldi's behalf as well. Thank you very much.